What's happening people? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Bimzy and today I'm going to be opening a booster box. I don't usually make content like this but I told you I, <laughs> I just had too much money in my pocket then I was like you know what let me just buy one of these. So I bought one from the Rebel Clash and I thought why not add a little twist to this video. So I'm going to be opening this booster box. I'm going to be choosing two Pokemon from the booster packs uh, the rare and the four Pokemon to make a team and I, with that team I'm gonna go to Pokemon Showdown and have a battle. I don't know if I'm the first person that came up with this idea, but like, I just thought, why not? I didn't see anybody else do this, but if, if they did, uh, shout out to you. And I also ordered four more packs, so I could have 12 instead of just eight. But yeah, straight off the bat, the box looks amazing. I love these booster box because they have this little poster thing. Like, people usually throw this, but nah, I'm sticking that to my wallet. It, re it looks really cool look at that man it has all these uh starters and the toxic thing i don't know but it comes off with a pokemon trainer guide the other booster box i have are uh, unified minds it does it didn't come with that so that's that's new uh yeah this is my other booster box that i bought but didn't record <laughs> so this is actually my first uh booster box opening video i guess but yeah, uh, straight off the bat, there's uh, eight booster packs they give you. Is booster box are really good value for money. Like they give you uh, booster packs and like everything you need to start with and a storage. Like you can literally put your cards here, and it's very convenient. Like you don't lose shit, and you don't have to buy binders. I guess binders would be a bit easier, but yeah, I'm not trying to keep big fat books like about that hate school bro <laughs> yeah they also come with these sleeves uh which are really cool all right uh first pack boom let's get it uh so yes honestly i'm a noob i don't know how to open this i'm a degenerate i just ripped the plastic off straight away and i honestly don't know how uh sh people shuffle it now now that i have done it like the first few like this video i've completely <laughs> not opened it shuffle the cards and opened it or whatever but yeah that's the trainer like the online code if you want to use it go ahead but i'm not gonna sit here and lie i've used six of them like so six out of 12 codes is used don't know which ones it might be everyone in this video or it might be just like four or five from this video i I should have just placed my camera down, but uh, I just didn't want to. I guess I was a bit too lazy, but four Pokemon. Uh, yeah, these are the Pokemon. The four Pokemon I caught is a Skirt, 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 or however you say it. <laughs> and I got Snorlax. It is the rare Pokemon. Uh, like the arts in these sets, they, they look freaking amazing and these three i got chatot charger bug and skunk tank as the final three pokemon so out of scovet and snorlax obviously there's a clear choice here <laughs> so i went with the basic set for snorlax he might be my primary uh sweeper so i just yeah used crunch earthquake counter and curse set it's pretty basic a bulky sweeper and the slower he gets the stronger he gets to be honest then second pack i'm really bad at opening these packs bro but look at look at how clean i opened it oh look at that bro shout out to this guy i'm so nice with it but yeah there's another code right there uh you be like just pause the video if you need to because i just flashed it real quick uh, so we got Voltorb, Nosepass, Wingo is the full Pokemon, wait no it's not, I lied. We got Heatmore as the full Pokemon, that art is amazing, I love that art. And even better art is Arcanine. Both of these Pokemon look amazing, they're both fire types. Uh, but yeah, I'm not going to choose Heatmore over Arcanine. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, yeah, here's a basic set again. Arcanine, welcome to the team, baby. Uh, third pack 
we have Chin Chow, this uh, Baby Link, Magmar, uh, Alakazam, Scovet. I don't know if that was Alakazam. I'm sorry, this video is so far away. Like, but I I guess you can kind of tell what they are, but like it's so far away. But uh, Wing <laughs> is actually bad. But yeah, the those these are the last three Pokemon. I mean, last three cards. Uh, the rare card was uh, Luxray, and the foil, foil was Wingle. Unfortun unfortunately, uh, Luxray is illegal, <laughs> so I can't use him. So yes, we're gonna have to use Wingle. Honestly, uh, I, this is a meme set. I'll make it work with a Focus Sash. This could work. Like we're very low on tier, so uh, yeah. If there's someone who doesn't know how to play Pokemon properly, I could beat them. Alright, so I have these cards right here. Uh, Roly Coley. I got two Roly Coleys back to back. The four and the... Ooh, look at that boy. I was so happy when I got this. Elder Ghost. Uh, v. I think it's... Uh, I think this is a ultra rare. And that boy is shining. I made some money back off this card. But if you want to buy this card, you know what I'm saying? Hit me up. <laughs> Yeah, but yeah, it feels good to get rare cards sometimes, man. Because I, I wasn't getting shit this whole pack opening. Uh, this is another code. Obviously, Park Champs in the chat. But I have to use Elder Ghost. And it's really not that bad. He has a good ability, but it's whatever. Uh, fifth pack. Uh, yes. Roly Coley. I have like seven Roly Coleys, bro. It's honestly annoying. Uh, I got Natu, and I was like, can you guys see this? <laughs> Halfway through the video, I realized maybe they can't see this. Uh, Sigilyph is the full Pokemon, and Electrovire is the rare Pokemon. So, yeah, uh, unfortunately, I can't really use Electrovire because it's also illegal. So, we're going to have to go with Sigilyph. And I don't, you, I don't really mind. Sigilyph is not a bad Pokemon. Like, I could just spam Cosmic Power, and yeah, it's, <laughs> it's not that bad, really. Alright, last pack. Uh, I'm here, <laughs> and there's the code right there. I learned my lesson. I was like, you know what? Let me just get that off straight away. Then we got Dreepy, the best uh, pseudo legendary. Uh, we got Surskrit. I made it even worse. Like, uh, the foil card was a shove, uh, shovel, a uh, curved shovel. Then we got Duraludon. Dural I don't know how to say that, bro. I'm sorry. Don't roast me on the comments, please. Uh, yeah, these are the final three cards. And yeah, since I can't use a fucking shovel. <laughs> I gotta go with Dora, Dora, that Pokemon, and it's not that bad. I've never used it personally, but yeah, let's get straight into the battle. Let's do it. Let's get started, bro. Start off with a Wingle. He goes for a Scrafty, and I go straight to Toxic. And this guy is trying to sweep me with a Dragon Dance. I don't know why. He, I thought he was gonna attack me straight away, so I went for Protect. Then I confuse Mimic with a Mirror Move. Like, the Mimic is so trash. I wish I could use Mirror Move. Imagine this. He just goes for knockoff, then I knock him off to you. Like, that would be fucking hilarious. But, yeah, uh, I should have went for Protect there, but I go to Sigilyph and go for Protect. And there goes his Crafty. He goes for Chandelier, then I switch out to Snorlax. He has Thick Fat, so Fire Attack moves, like, don't do shit to him. <laughs> uh, then I go for Curse. Like so, I can like one hit KO Chandler. But I shouldn't have just. I should have just went for Crunch. But yeah, I just wanted to make it. I guess one hit KO because uh, Chandler can't really touch me unless it burns, and, which is really trash. Uh, yeah, he just wasted it. His Flygon and went to he went to his Meow Stick. I don't know why, because that is stupid. I go for another curse. I. Honestly, don't know why. Should have just went for crunch and ended it. 
But yeah, uh, that this is this is end of line for Snorlax and his sweep. But we got Chandelier and he cannot touch my Arcanine because I have Flash Fire. I go for Play Rough, but that does nothing, and he just switches out to my Lotic. Since I can't really touch my Lotic, and he can one hit KO my only check to his Chandelier, so I just switch out to Elder Ghost. He goes for some a move that doesn't do shit to me. Then he goes for Ice Beam, also doesn't do shit to me. Because Elder Ghost has really good special defense, like special moves really don't do too much damage. And I'm really just trying to leave Seed Stall here. And he goes for Ice Beam again. Somehow he's still faster than me because Elder Ghost is slow as shit. Uh, then I go for Substitute. He goes for Ice Beam. I eat Substitute, eats that. Uh, I just go for Giga Drain, trying to kill it, but I'm fucking weak, so. Couldn't kill it. <laughs> then he goes for recover. This is such a stolly match, and I don't even know why. He just keeps on going for recover. I guess he doesn't want his Malotic to die. But yeah, I just keep spamming Giga Drain. I should have went for substitute there, but I just go for substitute here. Then he goes to Chandelier. I really can't touch the Chandelier, but I was like, let me just leech seed it real quick, so I can get some HP back, and I did. Then I see he he's uh, obviously gonna go for fire type move because why wouldn't he? <laughs> so I go up for Arcanine trying to switch like protect again. Then he goes to a shuckle and I was like, you know what? This is a perfect setup mod. And yeah, he I somehow predicted the toxic. Honestly, did predict the toxic. I just got <laughs> lucky. So I start going for cosmic power. He used infestation, so I can't switch up. So yeah, I just start setting up my cosmic power and he just spams Stealth Smash for some reason. I don't even know. I guess he just wanted his uh, Shuckle to be like really uh, strong. But I just I just spam cosmic power to you. I was like, you know what? You want to play it that way? Sure, let's do it. And then I just keep spamming cosmic power. And yeah, this is going to be very stoly. So... <laughs> I'm just gonna skip to the part where we actually do something, right? Basically, he just keeps doing that, and I just stored power him down. And right when I'm about to kill him, this guy goes for rest. And I was so fucking pissed off. I was like, bro, you really wanna do this? Because I can do this. I have time. And I just wanna win. So I just, yep. We just stored again. And three hours later, he decided to switch out to his Milotic. Then, yeah, my Lotic can't do shit to my Sigalith that has over a thousand special defense and <laughs> 900 plus uh, uh, defense. Chandelier comes out, just gets bodied. Then, yeah, he just forfeits, and there is a win right there for you, boys. <laughs> Thank you for watching. It's been Bimsy, Bims, whatever you want to call me. It's been great. And I'm out. Goodbye.